Come on, buddy. You got him? Yeah. Hello. This is Prince. He's injured his back right leg. Let's come right in this room yep. here. Well, he, he won't put any pressure on it at all? No, if he does, he falls over. Oh, buddy, that looks painful. Good boy. You know, he's just a baby. All right, I'll get the doctor in here in just a few moments. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. We've had Prince for eight years. Uh, we're a big dog family, uh, especially a big advocate for pit bulls because I think they're great dogs. He means a lot to us, uh, everything. He's a family member. He doesn't have a mean bone in his body. Nah, he doesn't. Hello. Hello. I'm Dr. Amy. What's going on? Uh, he just appears like something happened to his back right leg. We find him out in the yard crying. He can't put like any pressure on it at all. OK. And he just has this look of like despair on his face, like, Dad, I can't do nothing. <laughs> we knew something was really bad. Hmm, OK. Let me do an exam. Yeah. Prince. Hi, bud. <laughs> He's like, what's Hi. going on? Has he been eating all right since this happened? No. 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 We did get him to drink some water, though, at least. OK. It's, it's hard to eat when you're in a lot of pain. Yeah. It's really hot, which is concerning. But the swelling down here is, is just because it. it's so swollen here and it's building up, yeah. Can you flex it? Sort of. Yeah, he says, he's, yeah, he says, yeah, that's a little tender. Yeah. Can we check a temperature on him real quick? Sorry, bud. OK, he does have a bit of an elevated temperature, actually. He does? Yeah. Right. I can see a lot of possibilities if it's dislocated or fractured or a mass or something going on so around the could knee be, joint. There could be all kinds of different things. Mm -hmm. Okay. X-rays are going to be very valuable in this yes. case. So I'm going to get him to the back and get him set up in a kennel. We're going to start giving him some IV fluids to help with that temperature that he's got okay. going on. And we're also going to run some blood work on him first, okay. too. And then we'll give you a call when we have some more information. OK? okay. Sounds good. All right. We'll see you in a little while. I'm going to take good care of you, OK? I'm curious to see what these x-rays show for sure. The right leg is considerably larger as far as the soft tissues are concerned compared to the left. But it's not broken. This area is swollen, this thickening of the gray tissue on either side of the bones. The bones themselves look good. No broken bones, no punctures, bruises. There's no nail or anything in there. Definitely need some better x-rays, some better positioning once he's sedated so that we can stretch that leg a little better. I'm just stumped as to what the heck is going on. So we are going to start him on some medical management for the swelling, namely antibiotics and some anti-inflammatories, some pain meds. And we're going to monitor his response to these things. So that's what we're going to do now. Prince has a really badly swollen leg, and we don't have a clear reason as to why. Uh, so we're going to sedate him to take some more detailed x-rays. And I'm going to get Dr. Don involved because I value his second opinion. You can see some bruising kind of under the darker fur, but um, no scabs, no cuts. Really, there's nothing there. Do you think it could be like a bug bite or a puncture wound or something like that? Probably. Let's get him on some steroids or antibiotics and see how he does. It's okay. We still don't have a clear diagnosis as to the cause of Prince's swollen leg. So I want to keep treating the symptoms, and hopefully that will get him started on the road to recovery. Prince. Hi, buddy. Hi, how you doing? Look, you ate all your food. That's a good boy. Prince has been here for 24 hours. I want to keep a close eye on the leg because we haven't definitively diagnosed the cause of the swelling. 
but Prince is already responding very well to the heavy duty antibiotics and anti-inflammatories. His fever has resolved and his leg is no longer hot to touch. Hi, buddy. The good thing is you ate, huh? That means that he could probably, uh, you know, continue his meds at home. I want to keep him one more night, I think, just to make sure that he continues eating and, yeah, hopefully maybe send him home tomorrow. Come on, bud. Prince, come on. Oh, good boy. Good boy. So Prince is doing really well. He started walking on his own last night, not quite putting weight on that leg yet, but the swelling has gone down considerably. Uh, so we're gonna send him home today. Good boy. All right. Come on. Prince. Hey, oh, buddy. How's it going? Hey. <laughs> Prince. Hey. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh, oh look at that wow. tail oh, I missed you, huh? You're happy, aren't you? <laughs> Hey, hey. Hi. Hi, Prince. What's up, my friend? Look at him walking on his own now, right? Yeah, I know. It's awesome to see. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and the swelling is looking better today, too. Yeah, it does look so, it does look better. So whatever this is, at least we're on the right track. Yes, <laughs> yeah, know? absolutely. It's frustrating sometimes when we can't give you an exact answer. Um, uh -huh. But I think this had to have been a puncture or a bug bite of some sort, and we just haven't found it. But he's already showing considerable improvement, so I'm very happy with where he is yeah, right now. Yeah, 100% happier. He's gonna go home on two different antibiotics and some more pain pills. So just make sure he's taking it easy at home. We don't want him to be too crazy because he could maybe hurt that leg further if right. he's too crazy on it. Okay. okay, sounds good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye, Prince. <laughs> good boy. Okay. <laughs> It's a huge weight off my shoulders. Just to see him walking around and moving around and everything, it's been great. You can tell he's, he's happy and he's, he's ready to go, so I'm, we're, we're ready, ready to take him home. It's like, I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. Come on. Come on. Prince! Come on, sit when we first brought him home, he was still really tender. But after about two weeks, he was running in the backyard, playing with the other dogs that we have, playing with the kids again. I was really worried. I always prayed to God and see if he would come back. And I cried a little. And he's OK. <laughs> the day did come, and we brought him home. Oh, they were all waiting at the door. Like, <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs>